welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you problem 2.13 in this problem it is given that 4 millimeter diameter cable bc so this is uh, cable bc this is the cable bc and uh, is made up of steel with e is equal to 200 so given data i will write also given data so given data is e is equal to 200 gigapascal that is 200 into 9 pascal the diameter of wire is given that is 4 millimeter and knowing that the maximum stress in cable must not exceed 190 megapascal so stress is 190 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and in that elongation of cable must not exceed 6 mm so elongation must be equal to 6 millimeter and it should not exceed find the maximum load p that can be applied as shown so this is the figure you can see that this is the applied load p and you have to find the maximum load of p that can be applied over here so to find the applied load p so let's start with its solution now you can see from the figure that uh, this the distance between a and c is given that is 4 meter and the distance between a and 6 uh, a and b is that is 6 total 3.2 some 3 uh, 3.5 3 plus 3.5 that is 6 meter so by using Pythagoras theorem you can also find the length of uh, wire or cable BC so length of length of cable BC will be equal to length of BC will be equal to by using Pythagoras theorem 4 square plus 6 square under the root so that will give you 7.211 meter so this length is 7.211 meter so lbc is equal to 7.211 meter clear so now uh, let draw the uh, free body diagram of bar AB so this is bar AB for example this is bar AB this point A this is a point B and this is that wire in which the force will be F B C this is the applied load P for example this is the load P. so by using the free body diagram of free body diagram of bar ab now we will uh, use the uh, sum of all the moments about a why you are using in now if uh, at point a there will be also a forces a y and a x a x and a y why we are taking the moment about a because we are going to find the force p clear so at point a we are going take we are going to take sum of all the moments is equal to zero now you can see from the figure that this p there is a force p and that is at a distance of 3.5 millimeter from the point A so it is going to produce a counterclockwise momentum so that 3.5 into P now the second force is uh, if you take the force of BC so it will have two component one is X component and is one is Y FBC X F B C X component and this is F B C Y component. So Y component is passing through point A so it is not producing any movement. So the only force that is producing movement is F B C X. 
so that will be and this fbcx is producing clockwise direction so that will be minus 6 time why minus 6 because it is producing clockwise and the perpendicular distance between fbc and point a is 6 meter so minus 6 fb c x is equal to 0 now uh, this fbc x fbc x is actually f cos of theta fbc cos of theta and from Pythagoras theorem if this is let me draw this is a this is b and this is c this is 4 this is 6 and this is 7.21 clear so the cos theta will be equal to if this is the theta clear or we should draw in the same manner that is given above let me draw it like that this is the horizontal component of this is the vertical component and this is f b c clear so same component will be like this is f b c y and this is f b c x component and this is theta clear so you can see that cos of theta will be equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse so that will be this vertical distance or if you draw it like that let me clear again that uh, let me clear it very easily from by using another method so let if i have a uh, let, me clear. let i have this c a a b and c this is 7.211 this is 6 and this is uh, 4 4 clear so if you take the horizontal component so uh, cos of theta the theta will be over here clear so the cos theta is equal to 4 over 7.211 so by use by using the uh, if you put the value of cos theta over here so f b c x will be equal to f b c into 4 over 7.211 so put the value over here so that will be equal to 3.5 p minus 6 time 4 over 7.211 into f b c and if you further simplify it that will be equal to p will be equal to 0 0.950 f b c we do not know p we do not know f b c so we will give it equation one now we have also given that allowable stress that is equal to 190 into 10 to the power 6 pascal so by using um, stress scenario or using the stress uh, criteria as we know that stress is equal to force per unit area so we do not have area so we will find area area is equal to pi by 4 d square and it is also given the diameter that is 4 millimeter so 4 millimeter so we will convert it into meter that is equal to 0, 0, 004 square meter and it will give you 12.56 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 square meter so area is equal to 12.56 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 square meter now we have area and we have we can find we have stress so we can find f b c in this y so by using this formula f b c will be equal to sigma into area the sigma is 190 into 10 raised to power 6 into area 12.56 into 10 raised to power minus 6. So from that we will get FBC. So this FBC will be equal to 2.38 
into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. So we have calculated the force. Now you can see that uh, this is the force that we have calculated by using the stress criteria. We can also calculate this same force by using strain criteria by using elongation criteria. So by elongation uh, we know that this will be F, FPC, F or P is the same thing so we will just write here FBC into L over uh, sigma uh, A, uh, sorry AE. Again we have to find FBC so implies that FBC will be equal to a e into this change in length divided by l which is total length that is l b c so if we, now we have all the value so f b c f b c so this f b c area is we have 12.56 into 10 raised to power minus 6 we have e that is also given as 200 gigapascal 200 into 10 raised to power 9 we have change in length that should not exceed 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 and we have total length of the wire is 7.211 so from this we will calculate the force by using elongation criteria so FBC will equal to 2.091 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. So this is the force that is obtained by using the elongation criteria. Now for force FBC for for force in rod that is FBC choose the smallest one the smallest from equation 2 and 3. Why we choose uh, smallest value because the smallest force we, we have this force as well we have this force as well but if you are going to uh, calculate the uh, load so you have to choose for the smallest because that will be the safer one. So smallest one is so FBC smallest will be equal to 2.091 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. So now you have force but in equation 1 you have to put the value of force in equation 1. Where is the equation 1 that is given above? This is the equation 1. You can see this is the equation 1. P is equal to 0 0.950 BC. So put in equation 1 we get this P is equal to 0 0.9509 FBC. So if you put the value BC 2.091 into 10 to power 3 so definitely you will get the value of P is equal to 1.988 kilo newton. So this much force load P is applied. So the value of P is 1.988 8 kilo newton thank you for watching if you have any question you can ask in comment section